All right, we have North Texas, who with their 71-57 victory has advanced to play number two seed WKU tomorrow at 8.30. We have head coach Grant McCasland and the student athletes Zachary Simmons and Ryan Woolridge. And we will begin with an opening statement from coach. Uh, you know, we definitely had a familiar opponent uh, and give them a lot of credit. FIU was playing really good basketball and um, Beard's a tremendous competitor and we had, it took everything from us after three games to figure out a way and credit to, you know, our coaching staff, uh, Coach Hodge, there was a scout and he just had a great game plan. I mean, we made a few adjustments going into this game that we felt like were pivotal um, and these guys executed it and just did a tremendous job defensively. I mean, obviously we turned the ball over too much. Uh, and, and gave them some baskets, but I told our guys the way we competed defensively was was the difference in the half court. Um, and then we got some shots to go early, got some momentum. Proud of Ryan Woolridge down there for playing the minutes he played. And Zach obviously probably should have touched the ball a few more times in the paint, going seven for seven. But just a really good effort from our from our guys. Uh, got a lot of guys just playing with some guts. So proud of them. All right, questions for our student athletes. Um, Zach, coming out of the gates, obviously get, getting paint touches for y'all has been an emphasis. What opened up for y'all in the paint? What allowed y'all to get going there? Uh, we had a great game plan. Our coaches had a, a great game plan coming in, and uh, you know we spaced it out, uh, read our mismatches, made good passes, and uh, it was easy after that. Coach, what were those adjustments you had to make to make the difference tonight? Well, the biggest thing defensively is we've been moving up and – trying to guard Beard and contain him closer to the three-point line. And we took uh, Zach and Tope and moved them back inside the paint closer to the rim. And, you know, just having Ryan on the ball really made a big difference because of his size and his length. And, you know, we did a good job of making his touches inside the arc with bodies in front of him as opposed to letting him get up there and then kind of get around us because of his ability. And then he's such an unbelievable passer. And so we tried to make him a score at the rim, and uh, you know it was, it was effective. And then defensively, I mean offensively, we were able to get them to switch on the ball screen in the first half. And we didn't show patience, patience the last time we played, and when we did it worked. But we were able to take advantage of mismatches after they switched the ball screen. Zach, with 11 defensive rebounds, you really limited them to second half points. You only had 10 second chance points in the game. Talk a little bit about what you were able to do to limit them in the paint? Uh, you know, it's just something that we've, we've really emphasized, and, and that's part of our identity is, is defensive rebounding. So uh, just really having it in my mind to uh, go out there. You know, our guards boxed out. They, they rebounded too, so it wasn't just like there were multiple bodies in there. Zach? All right. yeah. Zach, you were so confident that you guys were not going to lose to this team for a third straight time. What? made you so confident and were you determined to come and back that up tonight with your performance? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, that's just not, not who we are as a team. Uh, we're fighters, you know, from our coaching staff on down. So, uh, you know, we got beat twice and, and that wasn't a good feeling and we, we weren't going out like that. Zach, the part of rebounding is getting in position. Looked like you were able to do that a lot tonight against a guy who's tough to do that against uh, uh, Osaka. How, how much was that a part of the plan for the game you had? Oh uh, yeah, I mean that's 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 a part of every game plan. Uh, you know, trying to get position to go rebound our offense. You know, uh, guards get to the rim a lot, and we we put up a lot of shots. So uh, getting those second chance points are really beneficial for our team. Kicking out, hitting threes is, is something that that we really uh, depend on, and we're really good at. So, Ryan, talk about the team mentality coming into the game, um, having lost these guys twice in the last couple of weeks. Right, um, like Zach said, we're we're that wasn't a good feeling losing to them twice in a row. So we we knew coming in we had to we had to come in fighting. Uh, we had to go all out because it's a winner go home situation. So um, we're just trying to leave it all out there. Ryan, how much did it help to play these guys with? I mean, basically a home crowd behind y'all. Um, I mean, what was the difference there? Oh yeah, um, it, it's always a good feeling to have have a, a, a big crowd. Um, and then when they're cheering and, and just just momentum it just gives you momentum um, offensively and defensively uh, and just it just gives you a, a sense of security 
Brian, you've been kind of gimpy coming into this game against three of the last six. Did you feel better today with the time off as you had coming in? Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I felt I feel like um, – I don't, I don't want to say I, I had to play, but I felt like um, this was a game that I needed to needed to play. Um, it, like I said, it, it is a win or go home, so I don't want to I don't want to uh, not contribute to my team. You know, I want I want to help out as much as I can. All right, at this point, we'll let uh, Ryan and Zachary get back to the locker room and we'll continue with questions for coach. Coach, during a losing streak. Was it hard to keep the guys focused or not lose their confidence and, you know, not let that snowball? And then on the flip side, do you feel like this team can snowball into a winning streak now? Well, I don't know. Seven was a snowball. That was an avalanche. So <laughs> <laughs> we aren't talking about that anymore. So for us moving forward, we've always believed. Genuinely, we've, we've believed. We've had to adapt to winning. But, you know, some of these games we didn't play well in, but we actually grew and got better. So winning is important. It's vital. I mean, if you don't win, it doesn't, you know, your team can, can struggle with finding a way, especially maybe a team that doesn't have as much experience as we have um, at winning. But, you know, these guys did keep improving. And so I thought that showed tonight just our ability to have multiple guys at least play multiple positions and handle the basketball and, and um, you know, having Jordan Duffy out there handling the basketball, you know, at the end of the game, and I just thought a couple guys made huge shots. In addition to Zach, obviously, and Mo uh, played great, uh, but then Duff made a big three, and Rose made a big three, and we'd gotten into game situations, unfortunately, recently, and we'd missed them when the game was on the line. It was pivotal, so that's where I'm thrilled for these guys because the ball hadn't been going in for us, and, and it's not like they don't want it to go in. But our defense has been been solid and it was good to see those guys make a few shots down the stretch too when they made a run. Coach on your right. Just generally how proud are you of your team for the way they responded with it all? Yeah I mean let's be honest Frisco being here at the star is a big big part of it. I mean our, our, we, you know to, to go play on the road is difficult um, so I was thrilled and excited to be able to be here but our guys are tough. I mean we practiced hard and they've competed and we've had a long summer and fall and, and, you know, I think the benefit of our guys going through this tough time will, you know, prove good for us here in the next 24 hours because we've been through some tough stuff already. Last on your left. Coach, from best I can tell, you had, you talked about the turnovers, but from what I could count, two live ball turnovers in the first half. The others were, you know, shot clock violations and offensive fouls. How much could you tell that your team had a good focus right from the start? Yeah. It, we got away from just trying to run a bunch of sets and we had actions that we wanted to get into to help facilitate the basketball and, and put the defense and then read the defense, which can get questionable against a team that really does a good job pressuring out. Um, so, you know, those guys making great decisions early and it going into Zach on the mismatch and then us making a couple of threes early when the ball did go in and then we got the mismatch and drove at it. And literally, honestly, these guys said it, but they executed it to a T. And our fatigue set in in the second half, and that's the way they stayed in the basketball game was off turnovers. And so there's a lot of things to clean up and to talk about. But definitely the, their ability to take the game plan and put it into play early in a game that's win or go home was the difference. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. You bet. Thank you all.